Okay, our next application is uh, for zoning relief. Uh, Anthony Volba, owner of seven Volba Place, would like to construct a fifth floor, which would add the sixth apartment to the building. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board, and members of the association. For the record, my name is uh, Daniel Toscano, attorney at law. I have an office address at 62 B Commercial Law Feast, Boston, Mass. I stand representing uh, Dr. Anthony Boba, who I believe everybody in this room knows Dr. Boba, a lifelong resident of the North End community and a valuable asset to our, our neighborhood. Dr. Boba recently purchased 7 Baldwin Place, which is right off of Salem Street. 7 Baldwin Place is the last building as you go down Baldwin Place on the right hand side, which is abuts the parking lot of the next Columbus building. We were asked to be here uh, again. We. Uh, We've been before this neighborhood association uh, several months ago in regards to um, changing the legal occupancy from a five-family uh, dwelling to a six-family dwelling, adding one story to the existing building. The existing building as it stands today is approximately 42 feet in height, and we want to add 10, 10 feet to that existing building, which would bring it up to 52 feet. It's a two-bedroom apartment. Where, um, approximate square footage, I believe it's over a thousand square feet, correct, over a thousand square feet of living space, which is sufficient space for a two-bedroom apartment, which the DBA, uh, the architect who sits on the board, generally likes to see for a two-bedroom apartment, approximately 900 square feet for a, a, a two-bedroom two apartment. This is sufficient space to satisfy that requirement. Uh, However, we did encounter one issue if we were to go up. We were working with one of other, we're still working with Marian Zamato, who is in the, the, the audience today, who uh, we've been trying to work diligently with Marianne. There is some concerns as we go up. Marian Zamato owns 13 Noise Place, which is probably, I think it's the south side of the back of the uh, building. So in between the back of uh, 7 Baldwin Place and 13 Noise Place is a, is a courtyard approximately seven feet in the uh, space in between and how long probably so seven feet uh, feet uh, the concern is whether there's going to be a loss of sunlight Marianne was kind enough to present some photos that she does get some sunlight in the late morning that comes right down to the ground level of uh, that courtyard we've been um, the architect that was hired to Construct Chew and Associates, a Chew and Company, um, who's done who's doing the architectural plans and the presented the sun analysis. I'm no sun study expert. I can only say what the information that was brought to me that this will have minimal effect of the sunlight. How he explained it to us was the way the angle of the sun was coming down into the courtyard determined that the sun would probably be at almost its highest point coming straight down. However, I realize realistically we're not going to be able to determine what effect this is going to have until it's built. So we're continually work for ways to help uh, work with Marianne so she feels comfortable so we can move forward with this, this project. There are some alternatives that we're looking at and I was hoping to have new architectural drawings for Marianne prior to this meeting. I did not, I did not have them in my possession. Um, I, I, this week has been really busy for me running around, so I didn't have a chance to speak with the architect uh, about it. I sent them a few emails, so I don't have additional plans. I think the concern is looking at the, the south corner of that unit, maybe if we shaved it in a little bit. Uh, there is a balcony that is proposed on the side of the building that would overlook the next Columbus. We can move that to the corner of the building. That might eliminate that structure going up 10 feet at that corner, which would hopefully eliminate the blockage maybe coming down. So that's where we're at now. We're also looking at some type of uh, the material which this siding would be built, um, some type of material that would reflect the sunlight or the light that which goes down there. I think we're really talking about really the summer months from June 21 on. I don't know if you, I don't believe there's any going to be any um, issues during the winter winter months. So with that said, we do have a board of appeals hearing date on January 22nd uh, at the City Hall ZBA. 
my hope is that we can work with Marianne prior to the, continue to work with her prior to the January 22nd date with the hopes we can get approval by the ZBA and move this project to BRA review, design review, after the project is hopefully supported uh, by the neighborhood of the ZBA, then we can continue to work with the um, Boston Redevelopment Authority through the point of plans examiner to review the design and ensure I see Nicole laughing and over there. So I'm sure she's going to work very closely with the present design review of BRA to make sure Marianne is completely satisfied and that is something Dr. Bolger and I would want to have before we move forward with this project. So with that said, okay, I suspect there's an about at least one about it here. Um, about Earth or Daniel said it all. I mean, we're working. We have no resolution as of yet. So I'm just, I'm just waiting. We're playing the waiting. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay. Did you say that the back of seven Baldwin Place is seven feet away from the back of nine? Thirteen. Thirteen. Approximately. Approximately seven feet. Yes. I never went out and measured it. Maybe about right. fifteen feet. Okay. <laughs> Any other questions? Uh, would anyone like to speak either in support or opposition to this? I want to just point out that when buildings go up in North Bend in tight areas, it's not just a matter of shadow and direct sunlight that might be lost. Those living in a well are going to live in a deeper well. So, it, there's no roof that contemplates. There's no, Dr. Bowler made a commitment to this community. I think it's the last plan that showed 52 feet, and there was the head house. They eliminate the head house to a bulk head, which won't exceed, I think you have to have by code 36 inches. So we'll be at 55 feet, feet, even though you don't include the head house as part of the overall height. But Dr. Bowler has made a commitment to make sure that even with the head house, it's not going to be open if we're not Okay. Uh, question. Have you considered setting back for the addition? Bring it back. <coughs> setting it back two feet. I think the problem was, I don't think we can. There's, there's a back stairwell which serves as a second means of egress. So if we move it back, then it's almost like going out on the roof of the fourth floor to get up the second. That correct that for the stairwell is that uh, so I don't like what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> <Or> against me. 